Welcome, I'm Ayra Jogeli. I am at the NASA Johnson Space Center and this month, this month of September, is Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm going over to an event by the Hispanic Employee Resource Group or HERG, Fiesta Carnaval. So they're gonna have food and music. It should be really exciting and fun to socialize with the Hispanic community here at NASA Johnson. Let's go over and check it out. I am Hispanic. I'm Colombian by blood and I was born in Puerto Rico. So I have this mix of Hispanic culture. Para todo mi audiencia hispana. Yo hablo español. We're back in the auditorium. Oh, I'm trying to find familiar faces. I huh? saw you walking around. We need help to get to Mars. And we understand that this won't be the legacy of a single nation, but the achievement of the entire world. I'm Mike Hill. I work in the uh, collaboration director, music system division, with uh, JSC. Hey, Matthew. This is Matthew. <laughs> And, uh, so what's your Hispanic background? Uh, my parents are both from Bogota, Colombia. Yeah, I was born here in Louisiana. Ooh, so what do we got here? Empanaditas? Empanadas. Empanadas. <laughs> they have the dulce de leche in them. Sweet empanadas. Wait, dulce they have... Leche. Oh, dulce de leche inside. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. This is Marco Alvarez. Hey guys. Alright, so I was born here in Texas. But down south, real close to the border, my parents are Mexicans, so AKA I'm Mexican. <laughs> so I work in the safety and emissions assurance branch. So they give me tools for them to use as software. And my job is just to optimize it and make it faster for better results. <laughs> so what's this? We have all the props for a photo booth. Oh, so you're taking a picture? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm here with my friend Sergio Samboan. Hi, well, I grew up in Tijuana, which is the city closest to the United States from like the West. Here in NASA, I'm working with flight operations, specifically with trajectory operations for ISS, trying to make sure that it doesn't hit, get hit by satellites. So the very, my last semester of high school, I decided I wanted to do engineering and I had a lot more opportunities in the U.S. And from there I just kept going and ended up in NASA. Yeah, and you go to Georgia Tech too, right? I go to Georgia Tech! Like, yeah, I just realized that. We're rambling right from Georgia Tech. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is Samba. What type of music is this? If you know, leave it in the comments below. Is up for dancing? I would dance. <laughs> I'm here with my friend Maria Carasquilla. Hi. And uh, you're Hispanic and you work yeah. at NASA. NASA yeah. Johnson. I'm originally from Cartagena, Colombia. Yeah. I came yeah. to the United States when I was about to turn eight. I study aerospace engineering at the University of Florida. I'm doing hypervelocity impact analysis. So I'm here with Spencer Level. My name is Spencer Lavelle. I'm from Lansing, Michigan. What I do at NASA, I'm an internal safety communication, so I keep people safe, keep people from blowing themselves up. Uh, I love it here. I love Texas. It's a little hot. You said you were like 50%? 50% hot. Hey, you! I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? I'm here with my friend Manny Manuel. <laughs> Manuel, I grew up in Mexico. I was born in Texas but uh, Mexicano. I'm doing uh, maintenance of the International Space Station, fixing the restroom for the astronauts. Are they having like toilet problems? All the time, All the every time. day. <laughs> uh, and it's a critical issue, but every time a uh, Dragon vehicle comes to station, we uh, connect it to the uh, International Space Station, so we do the birthing of uh, visiting vehicles. What's the one advice that you would give to somebody who's Spanish speaking, wishes to be in the space exploration industry? I came to this country when I was 15, so six years ago, wow. and I wanted to work for NASA. I didn't know no English, I didn't have any money to go to college, it worked out, I'm here. You just gotta push it, you just gotta go for it, and don't let anyone tell you who, what you can do and what you cannot do. Just yeah. believe in yourself, 
find opportunities and get involved. Yeah. That's what it is. And Shakira, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Shakira Morera Felix. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico and I have been at JSC for 10 years. I work for the materials and process branch. I am a contractor and work in the materials analysis laboratories. And now you're working on like Orion? Orion and mostly the Orion TPS, which is the thermal protection system. Wow, your, your job is very important for the safety of the astronaut crew. <laughs> yep. I'm here with my friend Aruna. You work in East 4. So I'm from El Paso, Texas. I was born in Corpus Christi but lived most of my life in El Paso. And I work in ES4. I've been there for about two years. I was a co-op beforehand. And I work mostly EVA projects, so the extra vehicular uh, activity. activity. Okay. And so I support them for materials. So that's when astronauts step out of the ISS to do work outside of yes. in space. Yeah, so anything that has to do with the spacesuit, we help support it for the space station and make sure that they're doing things properly and that they don't have any materials issues. All right, cool stuff. <laughs> I'm here with the real content. You are a Pathways intern. Correct. Um, I go to Alabama a and University and I study in accounting. And I work here at the Central Budget Office. It's a great experience. I love what I do. We are the best center here, you know. It's, it's, it's wonderful here. So. It's definitely wonderful here. NASA Johnson is a fun place to work because we deal with like human space exploration. Yeah, we're awesome. <laughs> Go now. I'm here with Juan Carlos Lopez, the famous Juan Carlos Lopez. I was born in California, raised in Mexico, and then I came back. I That's work as an aerospace engineer for structures. Whenever we send rockets to space, they're exposed to different environments, right? And they shake. Yeah. So what I do is to analyze those vibrations to make sure that the systems and the astronauts won't get any type of injuries because of those vibrations. What's your background? Like? Yeah, I, I studied mechanical from uh, UTEP, the University of Texas at El Paso. Very cool. Well, keep up what you do. You do great work. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Hey. <laughs> Holy cow, I won the lottery. <laughs> Yay! What are the odds? Today, today's a good day. So, I'm here with Alma Stephanie and uh, Lily Beth. Really bad. I'm the current chair of the Hispanic Employee Research Group. And I'm the chair elect. I'll be the chair next year. And you both work here at NASA Johnson. I'm a materials engineer, so I'm a material girl. And I specialize in the space suit design for the maintenance, uh, the current suits, and then also the future suits. I like how you put that. Material <laughs> girl. And I'm a risk analyst working in safety and mission assurance. Viva Mexico! <laughs> I am from Mexico. My mom is from Culiacan, Sinaloa. My dad's from Tabasula, Jalisco. Wow. And, and I am half Colombiana. My mom's from Magangue, she's Costeña. And my dad is Argentinian, he's from Mendoza, Argentina. So today I'm representing half of my culture and very proud to be able to be here celebrating all Hispanic cultures for Hispanic Heritage Month. This is Luis Ramirez and you work here at NASA Johnson. Like I said, my name is Luis Ramirez. I work here as a flight operations uh, officer. Uh, specifically with the command and data handling for the Orion system, which is our next generation capsule that's going to take astronauts to the moon, to Mars, and beyond. Uh, trying to influence the design of Orion, because we're the ones that are going to be having the crew on board, we're the ones that are going to be maintaining it while it's in flight. Like if somebody wants to work in flight operations, what would they have to study in career? So what's interesting about flight operations is you really can't get a degree in that. They typically hire engineers or scientists or even mathematicians. But any of those backgrounds can get you into uh, flight operations. Once you're here, it's almost like going to school again. You have to certify as a flight operations officer and it's a very rigorous certification. Big responsibility, but like anything that we do here, right, we always gotta remember that. We have people on board, so we have life at stake, and everything we do has an impact. My parents are Mexican. Um, I was born here in the United States, but they made a huge sacrifice to come over here and, and give me the opportunity to have the things that they maybe didn't have, which is, again, going to the university and, and getting a degree, and, and now working at NASA, which is huge. Pero ya no existe el Distrito Federal, ahora se llama Ciudad de México. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. I'm Mayra Jogeli, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. We have to do coffee by the way. We haven't done coffee. We haven't done coffee.